we're going to be looking at a game versus Liverpool. Now, we've had lots of good results against Liverpool, especially over the last few years. A couple of 3-0 results immediately spring to mind. But the one we're going to look at actually kind of predates all of that. In fact, it predates Graham Taylor. It goes right back to 1970. Therefore, it was a game that I wasn't at because I was unavoidably 15 days old at the time. We drew Liverpool in the quarter-final of the FA Cup. The team we had was led by Ken Furthy. He had taken us to the second tier, the second division, for the first time ever. He went on to manage in America, uh, uh, managing the New York Cosmos. He managed uh, Franz Beckenbauer, therefore. He managed Pelé in the end, after Watford. As you know, football was seen in a different way. This was all pre-Sky, this was pre-colour TV, to be honest with you. And therefore magazines, physical magazines, played a huge part um, in terms of understanding not only what was going on, etc., but actually trying to find out who players were. Um, on the YBR uh, Facebook group the other week, somebody posted up this. And we thought, well, what a great way to take a look at that particular Liverpool game. Story of a star. Barry Endine of Watford. Barry Endine's fairy tale rise towards the soccer headlines began only two years ago, for until September 1968 he was playing on local park pitches in his hometown of Newcastle. Shoot one! On leaving school, he started his apprenticeship as a welder and then at 16 he had a trial with Everton, but was not offered terms. In 1968, a Watford scout noticed Barry and persuaded him to join the Vicarage Road Club, then in the third division. He played his first game for Watford soon after the 1968-69 season began and scored his first hat-trick in a 5-0 win at Gillingham. Endine quickly became a favourite with the fans and then Watford were drawn to play at Manchester United in the FA Cup. What an ordeal for Endine, from playing in the park in front of a few spectators to a 63,000 crowd at Old Trafford in four months. Watford surprised even themselves by drawing the game 1-1. They lost the replay, however. By winning today, Watford made sure of promotion from Division 3. In his first full season, Endine had hit 18 goals in his team's bid to go up. Last season, Watford made an even more determined bid for FA Cup success. Two goals from Endine gave them an unexpected win at Bolton, and victory over First Division Stoke showed that they meant business. Liverpool were next to visit Vicarage Road. For an hour, Watford gave their defence a real chasing. Back again for Allen. Ron Yates coming across his left end in. And he's coming on. That could well have been very costly and certainly the best thing we've seen from uh, Watford yet. Endine was left on his own, hit it first time. Roddy doing some good work in the air at the back for Watford. Garbett. To Lug. Waited for Yates to commit himself and then let him get the tackle. Now he's around the outside there, he's got two men up for it. Oh, well done from Owen! The man calls that. Callahan got Evans the other way. Oh, good effort! It was covered though, but it was a good idea. But it's three against five as Scullion comes forward. No foul. Now Brian Owen. The game needing a goal to bring it to life. Owen going through the tackles that weren't really there. Scullion's turned the wrong way perhaps. Gets around the outside. He's got two men for the fullback. It's so slow, it's almost embarrassing. This is Owen. Ending. Absolutely crawling past the post. From Ending, who is appealing for a corner. Graham unattended for a moment. And then brought down without ceremony by Wellborn. Evans! 
Well, that's the best shot we've seen from Liverpool from Alan Evans. Really got hold of it. In fact, there are 10 Watford players between this attack. Scully now straight running. Ron Yates has come across and will make it. Watford ball. Scallion. Lug. Nicely through the legs of Wall. End in! Surprise here, a definite possibility. And I don't have to tell you who they support, but at long last, an example of the quick strike, the quick through ball from Lug to Ending, who crept through the uh, Liverpool defenders, looked at the linesman, he ran straight back to half time, and Watford are in the lead, and they're going mad about it. Callahan. Chris Lawler is up. Graham! Well, he had to turn on it quickly and he got underneath it. Andy now in a one against one situation. He's inside his man, he could throw the whole thing up. Very quickly off his line by Lawrence, saved the situation. We've had a minute of injury time. Liverpool going forward again. St John to Hughes. Good try one, Emlyn Hughes up by Jeff Strong but the sands of time surely have run out for Liverpool Scullion we've had two minutes of injury time and that's handball by Wall Ken Furby not really uh, giving his thoughts away the trainer George Aitken to his right and that's Bert Slater to his left who played with Liverpool this is Williams Endine is in the middle away by Ron Yates risk it Garbage trying again. And Lawrence could have done nothing about that. Watford crowd absolutely on their toes demanding this final whistle. And it still doesn't come. Three and a half minutes now of injury time. Garbage. And the whistle now has gone. Watford have made history. They are in the semi-final for the first time ever. And then... Barry jumped to meet a centre from Ray Lug. It's in the net. This is Endine showing his delight to the crowd, while Tommy Lawrence and Jeff Strong wonder where he came from. Liverpool were a beaten side. Watford still had important league business to attend to. They'd had a difficult season in Division 2 and weren't safe from relegation. Here's another vital Endine goal, the winner against Cardiff City in the dying minutes, and Watford escaped the dreaded drop. It was a... Fabulous performance and a fabulous game. Um, Stuart Scullion had really deft skills and was a fabulous winger. And, you know, the older generation talk about him and hopefully you can kind of see why. That goal at Old Trafford was a beauty. The dribble where he goes through and uh, the, the commentator even goes, my God, it's so embarrassing. He's going so slow because he was going slow, but they couldn't get close to him. Um, people like Ray Lug with the nutmeg before the cross going in for Barry's header. Uh, astonishing. And of course, a young, playing Tom Wally, who went on to become a legend in the coaching side of the club. Uh, basically bringing through the, the youth team of the early 80s and continuing on and on and on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as ever, do give us a like if you would. That's so appreciated. It just helps the, uh, the channel grow. Great to be back and we will see you again soon on Big Match of the Day. Cheers.